Happy Monday, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. And what I want to go over today is two things. So Cran Shin Chan is going to be the beginning of this video. At the middle to end of this video is going to be Spring Fest. We're going to want to talk about information, prizes, and then also some set that were used during Spring Fest. So let's go to it. First up, I'm going to talk about Korean Shin Chan. This is one of those ones where when April Fools happened, there were so many people pumping out posts or pictures about sets that were coming for English or that were going to be reprinted for English. So when I saw Korean Shin Chan, my head instantly went to like a release into English. And that wasn't actually the case. It was a reprint for JP. And even then, like on this post, people were questioning it because they were like, is this an April Fools? and is this going to actually happen is it, it was unofficial it was like unofficially going to happen which you know unofficially around april 1st is kind of a uh, dicey so what is going on then is i was told about this so thank you to the two commenters that told me about that this is actually happening so i wanted to make that correction so if you are a fan of crayon shin chan there is a reprint happening for JP. And I think this is actually real because if you go out onto the Wise Wars uh, Japanese site, this actually has been changed. You can see it. Uh, again, this is translated from Japanese, so that's why the wording is a little off, but you can see, I'm gonna zoom in here. There we go. The price has been revised from, for remanufacturing re in 2022. That's what I'm guessing. Basically, it's like, this is how much it was back in the day, and this is how much it is now. And as you can see, this thing came out April 18th, 2014. It is very weird how this thing is coming out so much later, like the reprints. I mean, we, we thought AOT for English was really weird with, not weird, but uh, because of the date of it, like how many years ago. Just think about this one, Korean Shin Chan, uh, 2014. I that I've only watched like a few minutes of this because I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. There's something about this anime I, I couldn't watch. But uh, I was watching it a little bit before this dude scarping down some puddings. I thought that was actually pretty funny. So maybe I need to actually take a shot at it again. And as you can see here, this is YouTube, 274,000 views. So uh, somebody's watching it. And I, I just wanted to do a little, little dive into this. Kind of like my buyer and best videos, but not really. I just wanted to... Uh, do let's say a sorry to Crayon Shin Chan for not being and not thinking that this is real, like a, a reprinting was going to happen, or if that was coming to English. It's not coming to English again in Japan, just reprint. But this is where English stats are. I don't think this is ever coming out to English, uh, more because you could see rank 993, popularity 2138. Not really something that I would imagine would be a huge hit in English and at the same time I'm going to assume that this thing being in 2014 printed back in 2014 that more than likely it's not going to be relatively close to being meta at all it also had a child deck as well so pretty cool I, I th and that's what I mean when I saw the actual box I'm like man that looks pretty cool and vibrant and all that it's it's got some character to it which is always really nice I'm going to scroll down and just see I didn't try this but uh, some of these like this one right here what does that say fake story so <laughs> this this is being called fake story i don't know if that's the real I, I haven't seen this anime maybe that's the actual name of it who knows uh but this one is not as vibrant popping right like as uh what we got with crayon shin chan that's what i meant when i saw this i was like man that looks really cool um so crayon shin chan Pretty nuts. They're they're still going on. This anime came out in spring 1992, and from the looks of it, it looks like it's ongoing. It just had 1,000 episodes way back in 2019. I thought 2019. 2019th was its 1,000 episode. So uh, pretty crazy. That's like Detective Conan uh, happening there. So as you can see, I. I know they said unofficially, but again, since they actually have revised these numbers, I'm going to assume that this is going to happen no matter what. And I believe I was told it was June that it was happening at. So that is, is going to be taking place. And I just showed this because Sword Art Online was right next to uh, Crayon Shin Chan. As you could see, there was no changes to 
the actual pricing on SAO uh, too, which means to me, they literally went back here and updated it. So there is definitely going to be a reprint of it, even though it said unofficially, I think that's, that's a given. Uh, once you take a look at this, this is why I mean, I don't think this is ever gonna come out for English. What is happening is you have SPs uh, all sold out, you need to triple rare is gone. SR, you can actually find one. And then from there, if I scroll down, right, remember these red buttons means that it's available. You can see there is a whole lot of cards available. So weirdly enough, you know, like uh, just the higher cards. So again, the higher cards are missing. The lower cards are available pretty much. And these PRs are missing. The, there's a trial deck missing, literally one trial deck card missing. But overall, these are findable. That's that's why it's really questionable why. Maybe it, I was like, maybe if it was like the thousandth episode, like, but that was in 2019. So not really why. Not really sure why they want to do this, but uh, there you go. And one last thing just to make up for all this is AmiAmi. Ami. If you're one of those people that love this, uh, this is one of a few sites that are offering it up. Uh, so here you go. This is saying 60, 20 yen. 6020, approximately $49.10 USD. I never ordered off AmiAmi. Ami. I don't know what the shipping at all like that is, but this seems like a crazy low number, right? $49.10. So just, I don't know. And again, the, the neat part about it is it's being reprinted and you get the tall box. So if you like one of these tall boxes, if you like Cran Chin Chan, this is your, this is your chance. Uh, next thing I want to do is talk about Spring Fest. So I know Spring Fest came up. It was over this past weekend, Card Fight Vanguard and Weiss. Weiss was on Sunday, so everything is now coming out. We are seeing prizes and all that. And this is one of those ones where truly I want to say if you want to show up there, if you want to play, the prizes look really cool. I think it's definitely uh, worth going out there if you're able to i would just mention again right like with the locations with the schedule make sure make sure make sure to take a look at the schedule look at the dates and the times and read through this covid regulation because i think it caught i thought i saw something like it caught some people off guard about these covid regulations again i am not saying this is right or wrong it's one of those ones where i wouldn't want to drive two three five whatever hours get there if i was a pl if i was playing not being able to allow be allowed in and now my team is kind of screwed because i can't actually get in or even then if you're just wanting to attend and then you show up and they don't let you in that that would be a horrible day and a horrible drive home so i i would not want to do that so make sure to check out the actual covid regulations okay that's super super important at this point uh, the other thing was there is actually a pop-up booth at uh, the actual event so i don't know if they're going to do that every time i think they are but uh what they're going to do is have this pop-up booth and they're going to be selling actual items and as you can see here they actually at times 8 a.m for tournament attendees and then 11 a.m for general public i want to show this just because i have a commenter here that talked about the event and you know, there was questions on if people could attend or not attend if you weren't playing or anything like that. So this is what he said. So thank you, Sir M. Pineapple. Uh, Ontario event, 10 a.m. general mission was permitted. So 8 to 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We're checking for players. So if you wanted to come in, uh, he's saying that at 10 a.m. general mission was allowed. So we people who entered as general admission were given goodie bags containing the day's promos, which is awesome. So if you can't dig up a team, you don't want to play, you know, you're a little nervous or for whatever reason, you, you're just wanting to check out an actual event. I think that's really cool. You show up, you get a goodie bag with the day's promos. And um, let's see, not sure how other events will run, but for those who live close to one of these events, it might be worth attending if you're not playing. And I, I, I wholeheartedly agree because I know people that are looking to collect this stuff, just get into the game, see if it's even worth it. I think uh, just being able to show up and do that as long as you meet the eligibility to get into the building, I think that's worth it. It's 
something to do and you can you can meet people out there uh, that you've never met before and if you enjoy anime or anything like that card games be cool to actually talk to people if you're like me that doesn't have uh, like a local game store to do that uh the other thing is again so what we're talking about now is prizes so there's prizes as uh m sir m pineapple said that i'm pretty sure sir m pineapple yes uh there are entry prize prizes promos that you get for just walking in the door uh you will receive one double-sided center marker and one, one deck case while stocks last uh, so this is an uh, entry gift. All participants, each player, so again, players, uh, what we're focused on then is our Y Schwartz. So you're going to get this Mami and Sumi, Chizuru and Ruka card, and Newbie Rudius. And let's just show that. So this is what the card actually looks like. Well, not looks like. This is the mock-up. So here's your mock-ups. But this is what the card... Actually, let me go back one more. And then um, top eight teams we'll get this Mami, Sumi, and Chizuru, but with this actual stamp on it. So just to show you what that is, there have been winners that have been showing off their actual cards. So here's what, what this looks like. So again, if you want to just show up to get the promos, you'd be getting these. And if you were top eight, then you will be getting, yep, top eight teams, you will be getting this fancy one down here with the, the stamp on it. I think it's cool. So again, if you if you can't play, you just want to show up, it'd be nice to get these cards. I think that's really cool. And I know people are definitely looking for it right now. I mean, there's going to be multiple events. So this, this isn't your only chance to get it. But people are definitely looking to buy some of these, especially this one. So this top three teams, we have this Chizuru with that actual stamp that says congratulations on there and by the looks of it i don't think anybody's gonna let it go right now for under 300 uh that it i say by the looks of it but that's like the minimum but with how things are recently so you think about it, top three teams three people and nine cards at this moment nine cards you really think it's gonna go for 300 when uh there's a few people already asking about it like i I'd be surprised if this thing goes under 500 at this point. I, I, I just can't imagine it. But remember, there's going to be a bunch of these. So not to say that there's going to be a mountain of these cards out there, especially with it being Chizuru on the actual card. But overall, I think uh, it's something that's going to have a, a bit of value. And lastly, for first prize, you get this Alice from Spring Fest uh, 2020 which I always thought was really weird. This is uh, one of the uh, p posts on Facebook on Global. So if you want to go out there and check that out, you can actually see this card. It has the certificate of the winner. I'm not going to show that. But right there, you got this uh, Alice card. And oh, these cards right here came from another person on Facebook Global that was showing off his cards for winning. It's, it's really nice. I think they're really nice. For me personally, I don't think I would ever buy any of these top eight and above cards I, I wouldn't do that it's more just because and this is personal i'm not i'm not blasting anybody's like philosophy on buying these cards it's really just me personally i i feel like if i didn't win it myself i don't want to own the card so hopefully that makes sense i'm like i didn't earn it so i don't feel like i should which at one end it sounds really stupid because people are like but this card looks really awesome and i'm like i'm looking at it I'm like yeah i know it does really look uh cool when you actually see the picture of it but for me it's just kind of like a, a motto it's like i know i could buy a olympic medal but i'm not gonna do it because i don't want to show anybody and be like look i got an olympic medal and have that feeling of like i never accomplished it i think it's one of those ones for me where i have to earn it to actually hold the card it's it's not right in me to just get it but again other people buy these all the time so feel free i think that's cool if you want to and it's definitely a nice addition to your uh, collection so again if you can't actually play you don't got a team uh, these things will be out there and they look like they're gonna be in high demand i'm not saying go there to just get these promos to flip them or something like that but if you have any interest in meeting the community if you want to actually just go and see how an event actually is so that maybe you want to do like a, a singles 
tournament in the future, I think that'd be really cool uh, just to check out. Okay, so there we are. And out on the Y Schwartz Facebook page, you got a picture here of winners and their teams and uh, some of the actual sets that they use, which is really cool. So this gentleman right here, if you if you want to take a look at him, I mean, his name is here. And he also put up a video. So uh, you can take a look at him there talking about Bang Dream, uh, his winning first place actual uh, deck, talking through it and everything like that. I think that's really cool. By the way, if you're out there and you can actually listen to this, this is one of those things that I told uh other youtubers and hopefully there's other youtubers that you can tell this um the thing is it's really hard to find these videos <laughs> and the the main reason why as you can see here there's no description i didn't click in on it but i, I think there's no description and it's mark bushy road spring fest so if people can i would start writing why wars on these things so that way you know, like it's not limited to like a certain audience because I don't know how many people are looking up Bushy Road Spring Fest 2022. I tried Y Schwarz and I couldn't find it. I remember I was like, I remember he put out a video, but I can't find this freaking thing. And so I realized that it was probably not tagged with Y Schwarz anywhere. So if you know this person, if there's anybody else out there putting decks up, uh, just make sure to write Y Schwarz in it. That's why you could see these uh, fine people here tag card fight vanguard on the end of their uh video so uh just in the description or something like that right why words uh last thing i want to touch on is this we have weiss tea time again weiss tea time definitely a good a resource out there in the community she also does have a youtube uh hasn't been updated in quite a bit but i say again uh wise content creators are definitely fewer but definitely growing as well so um if you can just go out there hit subscribe maybe if she gets a bunch of subscriptions she will update it i know between like updating the site and real life i can't imagine like trying to do videos as well it's a lot i mean i know it from just making videos and working so i can't imagine doing a website videos and uh real life that that would be a lot but you never know at the very least hit subscribe uh may just make make her feel good and over here you can also uh buy her a coffee and then all of these ads do it it definitely helps out the site so what i'm showing you here why i'm even talking about all this is because uh when i pull this information off of the site i want to give her that actual credit for it so uh, this is where all the information is coming this is going to be an actual master post that she is going on so if you are attending any of the Bushy Road Spring Fest 2022 Why Schwartz events and want to contribute information to the master post, please fill out this form. So if you go to any events, please do that. Uh, help her get the site with more information on it as the events go on and on and on. So what we have here is the actual top eight uh, decks that were actually used and the series that went with them. We knew recently that there was a restriction list that just came out and i did not bring that up so we have restrictions let me see this is the english restrictions there we go so what we know is data live and kagya was hit uh recently and because of the effective date of this uh that meant data live was definitely going to get messed up when it when it came to the tournament and you can definitely see that so what i have here for you is just a little bit of a excel sheet because we got to have an excel sheet in my videos right we got to get a pie chart in here so what i did here was this is for april 3rd ontario california top eight and uh you can see here mishoku definitely was the one that came out on top of usage 25 percent slime is 17 and on and on and on bang dream showed up definitely very uh very well because you could see like what actually won we got slime bang dream and kagya that was the three uh, that were there and remember this was again a, a three person team format so you needed three people to actually play and that's why you got three across the board and you can't use the actual same series so you couldn't have like three slimes or three bang dreams or something like that uh, so second place love live bofuri and we got mishoku 
but uh this almost see, reminds me of data live where i would see like data live a lot used a lot but at the same time it wasn't like first all the way so just to recap here let's just go back here we got uh Mishoku slime bang tree and kaguya data live showed up with two which was eight percent and just to remind you what this looked like back before the restrictions this is what it is so i there was different ones here for europe asia and then i went with the north and latin america because it was drastically used differently so you see data live here back in north america for bushy road online rumble Bro, no. Bushy Road Rumble Online. Man, Vore would have been a heck of a lot easier of a, of a thing uh, to be using. So when it comes to uh, top eight for NA, this is again with singles, you can see Data Live with 25%. We had Slime, 25 SAO, 25 Love Live, and then Ruby. Okay, But then you can see how much this actually really shifted. Uh, what we got here for this time around is Mashoku took basically Mashoku basically took Dao's slot, right? Like it was the one that was going to be used the most. And then we had slime coming in, uh, Bang Dream too. So and Kagi was roughly around. But um overall, this this definitely hurt <laughs> data live overall. So the reason why I'm even bringing this up, there's gonna be people like um that Obviously so. I don't I don't talk about like actual cards, meta, all that stuff. People are going to be looking at this and analyzing it from a, a usage standpoint. For me, you know, you should remember like Pokemon. If anybody's ever played Pokemon or watched Pokemon prices, magic prices, it all should make sense that when these kind of events happen, people are like, oh crap, that set actually is really good. Or um, you could see here. It actually says it like we have eight standby. Uh, we got choice, and if you actually click the links from Wise Tea Time, it should take you to Encore Dex or not Encore Dex. It's Deck Log, Bushy Road Deck Log, and it'll show you all the cards they used. And um, I know with Pokemon, when when someone wins a tournament or something, you could actually see cards go up in price, like because people were buying it. So if any of these actually stand out to you in your mind, right? Like this is a good deck or you click on any of these, then more than likely, uh, depending on the person, if they need a deck or whatnot, then the prices of the cards are gonna go up because they need to actually get the set. And knowing that there is a few more of these events coming out there and people have time to, to like buy some decks or at least look at what other people are using, I would imagine same thing might happen from Pokemon Magic to Weish Wars that some of these cards are definitely going to be bought up. So watch out for that because if you were waiting, one of those people waiting for Mashoku Tensei, double rare is the drop in price, which it did. I mean, I, sh I showed the other day where Rudius was like 20 something dollars. Now it went down to 11. I thought I saw it at 13 earlier today. You can imagine there's going to be a spike in some of the cards based on what happened here. So just watch out for that if you're if you're one of those people that are waiting for a lower price because uh, that might be ending soon when people find out like which decks were actually used over this tournament. Like I said, you can see Mishoku shows up a plenty amount of times. We got Mishoku uh, standby, Mishoku standby, 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 standby bar. So uh, a lot of standby happening, and that is pretty much why those triple rares of Eris and Galane was gone. They're completely gone. Okay, so that is everything. I hope you have a wonderful evening. As always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget. Have a good one.